Welcome back, Red Deer Mathematicians and my little superheroes. So we are going to do part two of adding two-digit numbers. Um, I'm Sherry Jensen. I'm back with you to do this second lesson. Um, and we're going to do our first example. And to start with, what we're going to do is count some Smarties. I dumped all my Smarties from Halloween, and I want to count them up. So I'm going to have you help me. So here we go. So yes, believe it or not, I had Halloween candy left. And on the tray are the ones that I wanted to count. So I have one group right here. There's 10 in each row. So I have 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 27 there. And over here I have 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 27 and 26, and I want to know how much there, how many Smarties there are all together. Okay, so here we go. We have 27 plus 26. Um, if we think back to the number line that we were doing last week, we start at 27. We know that when we have 26, that means two tens and a six. So you can see I started here and I've already jumped one of the tens. Now I'm going to jump my other ten. So now I've got the 20. Then I just have to go six more. So let me get them up and we'll count them out. So there's my six ones. So I was at 27. Then I'm at 37. Then I'm at 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So it looks like my answer should be 53, and there it is. Just a little sidebar is some people like to do the number line a little bit different, where they first jump, and they think about this question, and they take this 27 to their first what they call friendly 10. So some people like to think of this question as, instead, 30 plus 23. So you'll notice what they've done is they've added 3 to this guy to make it easy and taken 3 away from this one. And it gives you the exact same answer. Watch. So if I start at 30, there I've got the 30. Now I just have to jump 23 more. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So you can see I started at 27. I went to my friendly 10 to get to 30. And then I knew, because I already did three of my ones, I only have three to more to do at the end. So I was able to jump and get to that exact same answer. So some people like that way get better, but it depends on what your preference is. And we get the answer of 53. Okay, let's now transition to our base 10 blocks to look at 27 plus 26. So here we go. There's 20. There's 27. And we got to add 26 to it. Let me just get it first before we put them together just so you can see them. And I want to show you how these are a little bit different than the ones we did before. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. I got this one was 27. This one was only supposed to be 26. Let me get rid of that one. So there's 26 and there's 27. So different than last time, when I go to add these together, if I bring all the tens together first, I'm going to put them over here. So there is 40. When I go to add all my ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you'll notice I've created a whole 10 there. So that's what takes me to my 50. And then I have three more left. This is called adding with regrouping because what you've done is you've created a whole nother 10. So you can see this supports our answer of 53. Just back to here, we got the same answer of 53. So now why this affects it when we get to doing it in the stacking way, Last day when we added our ones column, we just simply wrote our number here. Today it looks a little different because when we added our ones, just like we did with our base 10 blocks, we end up with 13. Well, that doesn't fit there because we know that we have too many ones. So if we could trade 10 of those in and make a 10, we would do that. So our 13, we're going to put our 10 value there and have three left here. So it's what we call regrouping. So there we've put it up there. So now I've got a three sitting here. Now when I go to add my tens column, I have my twos plus my one. So that gives me my 53 as well. Okay, fantastic. So 
As always, we're going to check our answer. Okay, so there's our 27 and our 26, so just like our base 10 blocks. When I start loading up my ones, I end up with a whole other set. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Sorry, that should make my 50. 50 and 53. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 53. We got it right. Okay, when I look at 42 plus 19 right away, I think, oh, that's so close to 20. So if I added one to this and took one off of this, it would be the exact same question. And I bet you, you guys can almost do that in your head. Or if we go over here to here and think about our chart, we're at 41 and we just have to add 20. So there would be 10, there would be 20 we get an answer of 61. So back to here, we know this would equal 61. We know this would too, because they're the exact same thing. Now, if we want to go and do it the stacking way, I don't know why we would, because it's so much easier to just do in your head or using the idea of a number line or a chart. But if I wanted to do this same thing, I add two here, nine and two is 11. I don't want to write a 10 value there, so I had to put my 10s in my 10 column and trade it. So there it is. And I get six when I add up that column. You can see I get the exact same answer in multiple ways. Or if I used my handy dandy little number line here, okay, and you see that I'm at 10, 20, 30, 41, and I have to add two groups of 10 more to add 20. So there as it is, and there it is. You can see I get 61 when I add them up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 61. Great. Your turn. So let's give you some to try. Um, I want you to look at these five examples. You can choose to stack them like the first three. You can just write them down any way you want, but I want you to see if you can come up with the three answers. And it's your choice how you do it. You can think of a number line. You could think of your base 10 blocks, um, you can think of a hundreds chart or print off a hundreds chart, whatever way you'd like to get your answers, but I want you to try to get all five. So write them down on a piece of paper and write down your answers, pause the video, and then once you think you've got them, proceed to the next video and see if you've got them right. Or sorry, just press play and then you can see if you got them right. All right, take care and good luck.